There's many, many reasons why homes become empty. Um, every property that we go to seems to have a slightly different story behind it. But um, the sort of main ones are people are left to properties in wills, relatives stay, left to properties, they've got no idea what to do with them. Um, there's financial problems where people start renovating properties, run out of money and just leave them because they don't know what to do next. Um, there's all sorts of things, there's emotional attachments where people have had certain experiences in houses and they just walk away and leave them. So every property that we visit has its own sort of background. The main reasons to bring empty properties back into use is the problems that it causes to neighbourhoods and to neighbours. Most of the properties that we are actively dealing with at the moment have come to us through complaints from residents in the areas where the empty properties are. Even if an empty property starts off looking really nice, as soon as um, local kids normally realise it's empty, one window gets broken, another gets broken and very soon it's a it's a fast downward spiral until the property is wrecked. So what we have to do is get in there as early as possible, work with the owners and try and get them back into use before any of these problems start. In Cardiff there's a, a dedicated team to deal with empty properties. And we try to work as much with the owner as we possibly can to help bring them back into use. We have a loan scheme that's been in for just over a year now, I think it is. And it's an interest-free loan scheme for any work that needs to be done on an empty property. We work with housing associations like United Welsh, is one of our main partners, and they offer leasing schemes three, five, seven years, where there's a guaranteed income. There are other things that the council try to do to help, but um, the main thing to do is to get people aware that there are these options available to them, and that all they have to do is ask, and we've got information and help available for them. The first step for any empty property owner who doesn't really know which direction they want to go with it is to contact their empty property officer in their local authority. They will have all sorts of help and information and guidance available for the owners to get them on that sort of first step towards bringing the property back into use. If people don't want to deal direct with the council straight off then there's a website the empty homes wales website where they can fill in a form or get some phone numbers contact details and contact united welsh and they can offer the same services you know they have, have all sorts of financial help um, they can give you details on the loan scheme and they do offer um, these leasing schemes as well so that's an alternative if you don't want to direct contact with the council.